understanding, can celebration, and insight into its meaning and use. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating term in English, concelebration. This word has a specific context and is not commonly used in everyday conversation, but it's an interesting addition to your vocabulary. So, let's dive in and learn about concelebration together. Concelebration is a term primarily used in a religious context, specifically within Christian liturgy. It refers to the co-officiating of a religious service or ceremony by multiple clergy. This concept is often seen in large-scale religious ceremonies, where several priests or clergy members lead the service together. It's a symbol of unity and shared faith among the officiants. Understanding the historical and cultural context of concelebration is crucial. This practice dates back to early Christianity and is prevalent in various Christian denominations, including Roman Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, and Anglicanism. It's especially common during significant religious events like Easter or Christmas, and it emphasizes communal worship and the collective experience of faith. In modern times, Concelebration is not just confined to religious contexts. The term has been metaphorically extended to describe any event where there is a sense of collective participation or effort. For instance, a group of artists working together on a project or a team effort in a corporate setting could be described as a concelebration of talents and skills. I hope this exploration of concelebration has been enlightening and adds a new dimension to your understanding of English vocabulary. It's a beautiful example of how language can capture deep cultural and spiritual practices. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Stay curious and keep learning!